This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series. And in today's tutorial, we are going to discuss one Power Query function and that function is table dot expand record column. So what could happen sometime you may actually get a record column instead of getting a simple column uh, in your uh, data or maybe you are merging something and because of that you got a record. So how do we expand that record? The challenge is how do I expand the record? So that this function is going to do that job table dot expand record column is going to do that job. So what does it take? So this function takes um, the table as an argument so this function will take table as an argument column as a text and field names as a list which it need to expand and it actually returns you the table so it takes a table and it returns a table now there is an example given on the page on the documentation page so where you, this part is basically a table okay and you can see inside this table this is a record basically and those of you following my channel you might have seen that in the past we have created a table from records now if you see this function the second argument is basically the column name which is a and you can see these are matching and then you can see that you know we have given a list of column names this is the list actually angular bracket you can notice that angular brackets gives us a list so we are giving a list so inside that one we are doing that so now what we are going to do is we are going to try out this example we'll try this example and then we'll take our own example also to do that but this is a very useful function and in case you get records now sometimes these kind of data especially when you are dealing with json files you may get into a situation where when you expanded that JSON, you may actually get a record and then how do you expand the record? So you, you might have question, where will it come? Where do I use it? So usually is basically when you deal with JSON files, you might come across a situation where you get a record kind of a angular bracket. This square bracket is a very common stuff with there and you might get a, just like a record and then you can expand it. Okay. So now let's jump out of the power BI. And in Power BI, we would like to go to the Power Query. So how do we do go to the Power Query? It's so Home tab. You have this transform data. And under the transform data, you again have transform data. So click on the transform data and you will reach to the Power Query. So once you reach to Power Query, what we are going to do is because we want to bring our own code so to do that, what we actually do is we use this new sources and in the new sources, very specifically, we are looking at an option, which is basically blank query. So under the home tab of power query, now this is power queries home tab. This is not the home tab of our, uh, you know, visualization module, which we were using or the DAX part of the world. This is the power query module and in the power query module, we are using new source blank query. So I'm going to click on that. Once I click on the blank query, I'll get a new query and I can rename this expand record. Now let me bring in that code and then we will play around. We will have more uh, such examples. So right now we are going to go to the net and bring in this code. And open right click open advanced editor and in the advanced editor let's paste this code now if let's say i want to see before you know what's happening actually i don't want to do this so let me do one thing for you is let me put a comment here uh, the java style comment or the c plus plus style comment i'm putting here and let me put a source here first of all and let me try this out Let's say done. So this is how your table will look like. So your table will have something known as record and you do have an option. Power BI does, it allow, does provide you an option to expand that. 
or you can click on the empty space to look at the record but if record con doesn't contain any complex structure further you should be able to see the columns inside the record so now you have and you do have this option now we don't want to use this option we want to write down our own code and that is where we are using the expand function table dot expand record column so now we are ready for that so let's remove this one and now bring in this one now i can take it as the next step if if i don't want that i can actually create a next step and let's do that now you know this code is anyway going to work out we are taking a working code from there so let's say next step is expand and whenever i write down underscore it means i am writing my own step so let's so the way to write down the next step is basically we need to close the previous step by giving the comma and then what we need to do is we need to bring in our function table dot expand record column then we need to give a table which contains a column with the record so what is our table right now now it is source now it is no more the code it is source now what is the column name which contains it a so second argument it is asking for column as a text and expansion so expansion is basically angular bracket a and this is case sensitive b and cc so a b b cc let me correct the names okay and now i need to return this one and i said done so now you can see i got three columns so i expanded this into three columns now can it happen while expanding that i don't expand one of the columns let's see what happens if i don't give one of the columns what does it give error what does it going to give me see it's only going to give me that that many columns which i actually expanded so if i don't want to expand all of them and that's what also happen you might have seen in power query when we try to expand certain tables or certain records we can select the number of columns which we would actually like to keep okay so this is what we got now okay so now we got our table with the records and we are able to expand it so you have to go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to try in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you